Hello everyone. It's my pleasure to give you a quick introduction to the results PG has published today for the third quarter of 2014. Third quarter was a time when PGE management team was focusing on structuring strategy targets into more detailed action plan to deliver value to our shareholders. A lot of effort has been put into overseeing current business operations and analysis of the changing regulatory framework. Starting first with a summary of PGE results. Consolidated EBDA in third quarter amounted to 1.7 billion Polish zloty, with the highest contribution from conventional generation, 900 million slotes, and distribution 600. Renewables contributed with 80 million slotes, combined wholesale and supply businesses brought together 50 million. Recurring consolidated EBDA amounted to 1.5 billion. PGE operations are in line with our estimates, namely net output of electricity of 13.8 terawatt hours reflects good availability of our conventional fleet. Wholesale electricity realized price was in fact lower than a year ago, but we already see some improvements throughout all the year. Distribution, with no surprises, is according to the plan. We are in the process of reshaping of our trading model, which already had some positive impact on supply margins. In September, PGE shared its last year profit with shareholders. Payout of 50% of a consolidated net profit, in line with our dividend policy, resulted in a 1.1 Polish Zloty dividend per share, which translates to yield of over 5%, placing us on the very top among European utilities. Recent weeks, it was the European Council summit that brought everyone's attention, putting spotlight on a derogation given to Poland and to the energy sector. Our assessment of the outcome is positive, However, we still require some more details for a more thorough analysis of the decisions. Let me give you also an update on our investments portfolio. Firstly, Turov Lignite Unit, appeal bar by one of the contractors was rejected by the court, which allows us to issue notice to proceed to our contractors on December 1st and therefore start the construction process. Secondly, Tenders for our wind farms located at Lotnisko and Resko were resolved and allowed us to start construction of total 166 megawatts, which are to be commissioned by the end of the next year. Looking ahead, we can also confirm our firm position on the cost management and business optimization. More detailed information is available in our report and results presentation. Thank you for your attention and see you in February for the full year results.